had a couple good days. Friday was awesome. You were out there Thursday as they were getting everything kind of set up. So right. a couple so, days in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is unfortunate. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, though. Yeah. We've already had quite a bit of rain during the overnight. We are still kind of dealing with some leftover flash flooding up in Hamilton County from yesterday. We're and we're going to see. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see a lot more today, unfortunately. In fact, this was the day that I really anticipated some weather related issues. Yesterday, we had a lot of just overachiever type storms that popped up. And that's exactly what we're seeing over in Hancock County this morning. This is our I-70 live in dot camera that's in between the Mount Comfort Road and the uh, Greenfield exit there on I-70 where the heavy rain is falling. We've seen a lot of lightning in this camera as well, and that is as we have a pretty intense storm that's moving northward through Hancock County right now, and that's where I want to start on live Doppler 13 radar right now. This is that lightning that I was talking about getting ready to cross over the I-70 corridor there from New Pal to Greenfield, picking up on some of this very heavy rain, and it is tracking north, so places like Fortville, McCordsville potentially getting in on this uh, within the next 10 to 20 minutes. We've also had some heavy rain over on the northwest side of town, some lightning strikes moving out of Whitestown now tracking towards Sheridan moving toward Atlanta and Tipton with the even more heavy pockets of rainfall developing in northern Indiana as well. I want to put this radar into motion over the past hour kind of showing you the general direction that these storms are tracking. So lifting through the metro and that will be the pace of this as we go through the next couple of hours. But notice that Outside of where the heavy rain is falling, we've got a lot of dry spots right now from Muncie to Newcastle, mainly dry now over near Richmond. We've got some dry time this morning over the next several hours here, though. I do anticipate this becoming more of an issue for everybody here in central Indiana, mainly because we continue to watch this evolve along this boundary here moving into central Illinois. That's the line that's going to bring in the more widespread and heavy rain as we get into the afternoon hours today. Temperatures are going to hold steady here over the next several hours in the upper 60s, low 70s. That is about as good as we do today, uh, mainly because we're going to be impacted by the cloud cover and that rain. In fact, this is only going to increase your rain chances for today. I ramped that up to around 100% when the actual boundary is going to be moving through. So here's that latest timeline. We're going to continue to deal with some spotty showers, perhaps an isolated storm throughout the morning. But as we get into the afternoon hours today, this is around noon. More heavy downpours will be likely. That threat of lightning and localized flash flooding continues. That will take us on through the 3 o'clock hour today with that widespread rain continuing through the metro. This is 6 o'clock tonight. That line will move into Eastern Indiana by about 8 p.m. and then exit the state as we get to after about sunset. We'll be left behind with a pretty widespread cloud cover, that chance of an isolated shower through the overnight, and then again tomorrow as we'll sit on the backside of this storm system tomorrow. Going to take a little time for this whole thing to clear out, but what we're going to be influenced by tomorrow more so is that cooler air mass, and that will keep that temperature down. Looks like most of us don't see highs out of the 60s for our Monday. So here we go, a much cooler start to the day tomorrow. Clouds will filter back in. There's that stray shower chance. We'll be dealing with some strong wind gusts as well for your Monday. Just kind of a blustery fall-like feel to the air for tomorrow to get the week underway. And then as we get into two Tuesday, we finally will start to transition back to more seasonal temperatures and also seeing some sunshine returning Tuesday afternoon, a high of 74. We're back into the 80s starting on Wednesday, and then those 80s continue into next week with a dry stretch all the way through uh, next Saturday.